What's up guys, I'm Michael Allen, and this is the Movie Minute. This week on the Movie Minute, we're gonna be checking out Finnish action movie, Sisu. But before we jump in, just really quick, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, come along this journey with me into the film world and my love for movies. All right, everybody, let's talk about Sisu. Film is written and directed by Jalmari Hollander. He's a Finnish filmmaker, and boy, is he uh, coming in hot with this film. Sisu is a very much a, a uh, cultural Finnish word that basically they say multiple times in the film cannot really be translated. But what it kind of means is kind of this white knuckle grit determination in the face of just unsurmountable odds, like no hope and just how toughness and how you can push against those situations of no hope. So the film is set in Finland at the end of World War II as the Nazis are leaving Finland. And so the whole conflict, the whole film surrounds kind of the conflict between uh, this Finnish prospector and the Nazis. And now let's talk a little bit about this because the whole idea of this film is it is truly a uh, genre mashup, but at its heart, I would argue that this film is a Western. I mean, and what Westerns do best is a good guy versus a bad guy. And that is what's amazing about Westerns. There is no questionable motives. You know who the bad guy is. You know who the good guy is. And you know what you want to happen. You want the good guy to win. And what badder baddie do we have than the Nazis? So let's talk about what I liked about the film. First and foremost, the genre mashup, okay? This film is so many things. It's an action movie, check. It's a Western, check. It's a revenge flick, check. It's so many things, like, and it's all done well. It's so stylized. It's very Tarantino-esque. Yes, I felt like I was watching, like, a World War II Finnish violent fairy tale. And, and that sounds insane, but that's what I felt like I was watching. The film is fun. It is so much fun. It is very, very violent uh, in a Tarantino-esque way. But I mean, it's Nazis. You don't feel too bad for these guys when this guy is going around on his revenge flick, right? So let's just talk about really quick what I didn't like about the movie. I mean, there wasn't a lot. The movie was solid, but I will say there was a couple moments that lagged, and so that just didn't fly with me. The second was, there was kind of just some issues, I think, in the movie a little bit with the suspension of disbelief. I mean, there was just a couple moments that just felt a little bit too ridiculous. I know it's a kind of a myth-type movie, this Finnish myth, but overall, there was just a few moments that were just a little bit too much. Let's talk about my rating. I mean, I give this film on an, on an entertainment scale, it's a solid nine. I mean, I wasn't ever bored to be honest. And then uh, from a critic standpoint, it is well made. I mean, the structure is strong, the script flows well, although it's simple, but it flows well. The direction is solid. Just the cinematography is really well done. Beautifully shot, beautifully shot. So. From a critic standpoint, I'd give it a solid eight. I would give it eight and a half out of 10. Now, this film isn't for everybody. Once again, it's very Tarantino, very violent. I think that in light of the John Wick kind of fandom, this film actually probably will do pretty well. I mean, if you like the John Wick films, you will like this film. If you like Tarantino, you will like this film. So for my rating, I am gonna give it the popcorn bucket because I enjoyed it from an entertainment standpoint. It was worthy of my time in the theater. I really enjoyed the film overall. If you're not a Tarantino person, this may not be your cup of tea. With that guys, until next time, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, come along with me. Let's watch some more movies. Peace out.